got a two litre diesel G10 cash guy here. Uh, it's got a Renault M9 orange in it. Um, it's got a drivability fault. You drive it, it loses power, but logs no fault codes. The cars come from its car sales company, so there's no history on the fault. Um, fuel pressure seems to be going a bit weird, but as I say, logs no fault codes, so I'm going to attempt using Think Car to reflash the engine ECU in case it, somebody's been trying to remap or something like that. So I'm just uh, on with that now. So it's downloaded the file. It's communicating with the car. Take this inside the car. Because it needs the sight ignitions. There's the fans away, because you've got battery support on. Same voltage up there, so it's sitting at 13 and a half volts. It's starting to flash the files now. Basically the software number's matched. The existing software number and the, and the, the current software number are exactly the same. But as I say, all I want to do is overwrite what's on the ECU because if it has had any remapping done or anything like that, or any code deletes done or stuff like that, uh, it's going to, the, the, the overwrite should get rid of that. So this is absolutely experimental for me. It's, I've never done this before on a Nissan uh, or a Renault, so uh, let's see how it goes. Let's hope it starts. It's been running quite a few minutes now, but it is uh, in progress. Fans are still blaring, so you can hear them in the background. Again, another uh, reason, always use battery support. I've got a GYS 100 amp BSU on this. Those fans are growing 47 amps, that's the information. We're at 96%, so not far away from completion. It took about 15 minutes or so to do the right. By the way, unlike the Autel, you'll notice no USB cables. It's doing it through Bluetooth. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but. Nearly there, waiting in anticipation. Oh, program complete, fans have gone off. Click OK. Let's give us the before and after software versions. Uh, turn off the ignition for 30 seconds and turn it back on again. See if this will start. If you can wait to press this clutch. That's worth 30 seconds there. Click OK. Back to the main menu. Oh dear. On start. Oh dear. So finally got to start and left with this fault. Start there now. I won't rev up. Need to, re need to record the injectors, which I'm going to do now. Last cord going in. Them. So, 
Full cord. Okay, full cord. Yes. And fault. No fault detected. Now back to road test to see if the software updates fixed the original fault.